What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Can you remember any line from any Barack Obama speech at all? Anything? You know, the guy never stops talking. So presumably, he'd have something that people would remember, but the answer is no. Of course, you can't remember really anything that Joe Biden's ever said or Kamala Harris. Even Donald Trump's speeches, uh, besides like lock her up or build the wall, which are slogans, really, it's not the speeches that make the campaign of the candidate. It's actually the images. And I bet that it would be really easy for you to remember the golden escalator. I bet you could close your eyes and remember that right away. And it'll be very easy for the rest of your life to remember President Trump's assassination attempt, mugshot, McDonald's window, driving around in a trash truck. It's a truth that I think most don't understand, especially those in the political arena, that it is images that win campaign, not words. And the images are what people remember when they go into the ballot box. And they go into the ballot box wearing Donald Trump's mugshot, right? And this is what happens when you have an icon running for president. You get moments that are iconic. Now, what we have really enjoyed about President Trump's race for the White House this time around is that he's leaned into that, especially in his ads, because, well, if an image says a thousand words, well, how much does uh, thousands of images back to back, a movie, which is what a movie is, uh, how much does that say? You know, it says a lot. President Trump has put uh, out his closing argument today in a brand new ad. Together, we will make America great again. Harkening back to the founding days of this country and what this place is all about. Kind of the, the morning in America ad, quite frankly, for our movement and for a time with some incredible Donald Trump iconography in it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Donald Trump, together we will make America great again, the closing final ad of the election. Let's go. What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? Look at the opportunities before us. America is a land of heroes. This is a place where greatness is born. Our ancestors settled the Wild West, lifted millions from poverty, disease, and hunger, vanquished tyranny and fascism, ushered the world to new heights of science and medicine, and we are making it greater than ever before. The people dreamed this country, and it's the people who are making America great again. No matter the trials, no matter the challenges to come, we must keep freedom alive in our souls. That one nation, under God, must be the hope and the promise and the light and the glory among all the nations of the world. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. So much of uh, campaign is sort of encapsulated in the, the, the images that they put out, the message that they put out, the vibe of that campaign sort of like lives forever in that. If, you, if you're running on a dark and gloomy, doom-filled version of America, like Kamala Harris, where everyone's Hitler and everyone's a fascist, then your your advertisement's gonna kind of reflect that, right? The the vibe of your campaign is is gonna reflect that. And if you're running on what an incredible nation this is and what we could become, using footage of Elon's rocket there in the in the ad, amazing. Then you're gonna have a very very different vibe. This is what we're seeing across the internet with uh, PACs and other uh, organizations that are putting together kind of this very specific President Trump vision casting for the nation. Kind of like a getting over the hangover 
of what we've all been through. Here we go. Think about all they've done to Donald Trump. First, it was hoaxes, witch hunts, and impeachments. Then it was FBI raids, courtrooms, and mug shots. Finally, it was bullets in a Pennsylvania field. And after all that, this man stood up with blood draining down his face, pumped his fists in the air, and told us to fight, fight, fight. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger, freer, greater, and more united than ever before. And we will make America great again. We know what they think of us. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. So if Donald Trump can get through all of that, we can get out to vote. A absolutely phenomenal closing ad. Beautiful. The story of President Trump is in and of itself uh, grounds for inspiration. You could an you could animate it, and the Trump campaign actually did that. It's one of my all-time favorites of this election cycle. Greatness doesn't discriminate. It doesn't see where you're from, what you look like, or who you know. Greatness is for those who work for it, for those who keep moving forward. Greatness is for anyone willing to fight for it. You know what's not iconic is the Kamala Harris cartoon version of her campaign, which actually dropped, dropped today, where they got a bunch of old, decrepit, out of work, unemployed, washed up, Marvel Avengers, Disney Marvel Avengers, actors and actresses to get together and say down with democracy. Hi, you guys. Hi, Avengers. Hi, hey, hey, Scarlett. Jumping on the call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you mean assembling. <laughs> I wow. said assembling. Don, that's pretty good. No, that, that was funny. Scarlett, it is our pleasure to come together and to get the vote out this election. Come on. Yeah, how can we be a service? Well, how about we start with uh, what our voting plans are going to be, who we're going to bring to the polls with us, that sort of thing. Just to, I, to I think... Kamala Harris needs a catchphrase. Ooh, yes, definitely a catchphrase. How about this? I'm just off the top of my head. I can do this all day. Shut up. I hate it. Okay. I mean, it's original, but... What about something punchier like... Ooh, ooh, boom. You looking for this? Iron Man 2, everybody loved it. Okay, again, I think we're just trying to get out the vote. Kamala forever. That's better. Okay, how about I'm down with democracy? It's just clean, it's simple. Okay, I like that. It's hard to argue with that. Kamala Harris, down with democracy. Oh, yeah. I'm Kamala Harris, and I say, down with democracy. I don't know if that sounds the way we want it to sound, though. I think we just need, can we get some production, though? Jarvis? My name's not Jarvis, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Down with democracy. Down with democracy. Is that what we mean, Mel? Yeah, together we're going to tear down democracy. Will you stop playing her well, uh, Do they understand what they're doing here? No? Do they get it? I, I can't figure this one out. Do they get it? Maybe that, like, isn't that the, isn't that the point, right, of an ad like this? Shouldn't it be, like, clean and simple? Should we should should you be shrugging your shoulders and going like, what is wrong with these like unemployed people? Are they still in COVID lockdowns? They're still in COVID lockdowns, huh? They're still doing Zoom calls and COVID lockdowns. Okay, well, thank you for showing me that version of America. I haven't seen that in a couple of years. Uh, that's a good reminder of what these monsters did to us and why we must vote against the adult pretenders and against the theater kids who happen to hit it big and for the man who really actually did it big with his life and who wants to make America big and great again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Benny. Like, share, subscribe, go vote. Trump 2024.